Hello and welcome. I'm your host, Lesawi, and this is part two of importing your character, setting up the movement and animation. So, if you haven't seen part one, go check it out and let's begin. So, the first thing you want to do is you want to navigate to your folder with your character and your animations, like we set up in the previous video. And we're going to create two blueprints over here. We're going to create an animation blend space. So, if you go to animation, Legacy and Blend Space 1D. Select your character there. And we're going to call it BS for Blend Space and Character. So if your character is called Steve, call him Steve, but um, just so it's easier for you to remember. Animation again, and we're going to set up an animation blueprint. So let's call it again, create, and this time it's going to be called AB for animation blueprint underscore and character okay so first let's go to the blend space inside of our blend space uh, we see our character and over here we have a um, graph which we can put our animations on but the first thing we're going to do is go into the horizontal axis and name uh, call it speed and our minimum value is going to be zero. So that's the idle at which the player is not moving. And then we have our maximum value, which is going to be the maximum speed you want your player to be moving. So for me, I think 600 is going to be okay. Um, 500 is okay too. And normally you have uh, anything over 600 will be for sprinting. So uh, I will take my idle. And we can see that's the idle pose. Uh, if you want to snap it to grid, you can uh, snap the grid option right here. And I'm going to get my walking set up maybe about, I want him to walk about 200, right? So if I want, if I want it exactly at 200, I can just go in here and type 200, and that's going to be 200. And then for our running animation, we're going to put it last. Um, so at 600, that's fine. Okay, so uh, we can save this. Uh, we won't be doing the jump in here. We can save this and exit. That's done. And then for our animation blueprint, we're going to go in here. And here we have our output pose. So normally uh, when you're creating your animations, uh, you want your character to have other movements such as take a weapon out, you know, a trap, punch or a kick. So a good practice is to throw in a default slot so this will allow you to do that but for the purpose of this video we don't need it but i'll leave it there anyway and we're going to create a state machine there we go and we're going to call this locomotion so inside let's go inside of our locomotion double click on that inside we're going to create a another state and this is going to be called idle um walk and run so inside of here we're gonna go into our asset browser on the right hand side and let's drag in the blend space we just created so that will be our blend space underscore character and connect that like so and then for our speed uh, we're gonna promote this to variable like so so that's our oh i exited that that's our um, idle walk run done. We can go back. Um, then from here, you want to drag out and create another state. This is going to be jump up. So remember the animations we created? Uh, yeah, this is where we're going to put them and we're going to edit them so uh, they look good. Uh, now for the second one, we're going to do jump idle. So this is while the player is falling. And then we're going to do uh, jump down. Opa. Jump down. And we can connect this uh, back up here. Like so. And then... Uh, oh, Let's, by the way, connect your locomotion. Don't forget to do that. So I go inside here and we're going to do our jump first. So let's uh, grab our jump 
what was it uh i don't have jump up okay so i'm just gonna rename this because i want this to be jump up you don't have to rename it jump up this is just for me to know what's happening okay so that's jump up uh let's jump up then for jump idle we're gonna have jump idle and then for jump down we're going to have jump down and hook that like so we can compile it's not done yet and uh, now we need to create uh, some logic here so on the first one go inside and we're gonna create a variable is jumping so if this is set to um if this is true you can jump right then for here just click on it and select the automatic rule based on sequence so select that then in the next one double click on it and we're gonna drag our um, boolean again but this time we're gonna say not so if the player is not jumping and we're gonna go back and the same thing here click on this one here and automatic rule based on sequence so click that to true so compile and save then go to our event graph and if you don't have it up here you can always find the find the event graph over here it's the same thing so from our try get pawn owner we're going to drag out and we're going to get our um velocity yeah velocity then from velocity we're going to go to vector length then from vector length we want to set our speed so grab our variable we created earlier and set we're setting the speed on this so then let's drag from event blueprint update animation up to here and this will make sure that our character can move but he cannot jump yet so let's uh, set up this right now so again from try get pawn owner we're going to drag out and we're going to get uh, get movement component and from the movement component we want to check if the player is falling so is falling if this is true we're going to uh, jump, right? Uh, set. So let's set that like this. And that should be our animation blueprint done. So we can see it. Uh, it's going there. Everything looks good to me. I have to look emotions. It's just a sent blueprint twice. Okay. And then we have our anim graph. So make sure your anim graph looks something like this. You don't need this in the middle, but it's good practice to have if you're doing uh, other animations. And let's exit out of this. Then, for in our character blueprint, so bp underscore character, go inside and go into the viewport. And inside our viewport, we're going to click on our character. And we're going to select the anim class is going to be our animation blueprint character so ab underscore bp so that's there and we're going to compile and save and now our character uh yeah he's doing the jumping animation because we haven't animated it yet so our character is moving but we need to do the jumping now so let's go to our animations and we have jump up jump idle and jump down so in jump up what we want to do is we want to get the first uh the first initial uh, jump so i think um anywhere from here uh from frame 20 uh from frame 20 up to frame let's see that's the highest he goes so i think to frame 40 is good so remove from 41 to 111 so this is what we want here we're gonna save this then in our jump idle so this is when he's falling or uh, yeah when he's falling so double click on this and if we see 
it's playing everything we don't want that so let's remove from what did we have we had 40 so remove 0 to 39 no it doesn't really matter but we had 41 just it's gonna bother me uh no nah, that's fine so actually no i'm wrong uh so this was the highest jump right and then from here he's starting to fall so let's get from 0 to 25 from here now he's falling so he's gonna fall down and we want to have it just just like before he touches the ground so about there that's fine let's even go with this and the remove from 0 to no 15 to 67 so we want a loop like this save that and then for our jump down all we want is the player actually falling down so what did we have we had it about about here right so let's go that's 75 so 0 to 75 delete that and down so depends how long you want the characters to stay like this but if you want a smooth transition probably best to cut it here something like that yeah i'd cut it about here uh 13 to 30, 57 so it looked like this and you can mess around with this you know um see what looks good for you because different animations work differently but uh once you have that done um your character can jump up well that doesn't really look too nice but we can jump up and let's make this a little bit smoother so the problem is jumping up right yeah, I think it takes a little bit too much time. I prefer from here. So let's go here. 0 to 30, 22. Save that. And there we go. Bit better looking jump. We can walk around and we can jump. So that's all for the character uh, import movement and animation if you liked the video and um, please leave a like if you didn't like the video uh, leave a dislike and i'll see you in the next one thanks